Okay everyone, phrasing on the guitar can actually be a lot of fun. Um, the problem with a lot of improvising that I see, including my own sometimes, is that if I pick a scale to uh, solo in, let's say I'm doing A pentatonic like we've been doing, so this will be A minor pentatonic, what tends to happen is you start to play and you find yourself just playing the scale up and down. It's a little generic because you're just playing about a series of notes, you're not really making it musical. So I always tell people to go back to when they were kids and think about the most basic uh, songs that you knew, like growing up, like Jingle Bells or Mary Had a Little Lamb. Those have very distinctive phrasings in them. So think about Jingle Bells. Jingle Bells, it's like boom, boom, boom. That to me is a phrase that stays in your mind because it's so definitive. So instead of just playing a bunch of notes randomly, what you could do is you can copy some of those phrases, but you don't have to do the same notes. You can use the same scale that we have been using, but you can do the same rhythmic pattern that those phrases have. So think of jingle bells, okay? You could do that as you solo in this pentatonic shape. Check this out. That was just jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. I just did it using the, the, the scale that we've been doing, and it made it sound a little bit more interesting, a little bit more musical. Now, if you're really listening, you might hear jingle bells a little bit, but if someone else is playing a rhythm and you're soloing, you just decide to do jingle bells, but with this scale, they probably will never be able to tell, and they'll just be like, hey, that guy has some good phrasing, or that girl has some good phrasing. So, one more time, I'm just gonna show you some examples of jingle bells played pentatonic scale, okay? I guarantee you, if you did that while somebody was jamming some rhythms, nobody would know. He just did jingle bells. Mary had a little lamb, same kind of thing, okay? So maybe I'll go. Some uh, Mary had a little lamb, done with the pentatonic scale, just the phrasing. It's a lot of fun. You could choose uh, any song you want. It doesn't have to be a kid's song. I could even choose like a Beatles tune. Think of A Day in the Life where he says, I read the news today, oh boy. That's a great set of phrases in that song. Same with Come Together. That has some really good phrasing too. So I'm going to steal the rhythm of A Day in the Life for a second, but still play in the pentatonic shape, okay? Here we go. <laughs> So I threw off that last note because I thought it was sounding a little too much like the song. But you get the idea. It's not really copying note for note. It's just taking some rhythm, rhythmic ideas and applying them to a scale that you're practicing. So try some phrasing. Choose a song. Play a couple licks. See if anyone uh, can tell that you're ripping off a kid's song. <laughs> Chances are they won't. And um, you'll find better ways to play uh, within the pentatonic scale and have some more interesting results. So uh, see what happens.